How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, once again, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about this week. Um, it's been a bit of a bit of an odd week, so I had last week off, um, another start of, because like, I, I shift work anyway, so I work like what, whatever day, whatever days that I'm given. Um, but I booked off until, I thought I'd booked off until this, the Sunday just gone. I'd actually booked off till the Monday, and then I had the Tuesday off. Which counted as two of my days off this week. Um, and this is my third day off this week. So <laughs> I now have to do like everything today because obviously I couldn't do half the stuff that I would normally do, like spreading out over my days off. Um, so yeah, this will hopefully be a quick one, <laughs> whatever I decide to talk about. <laughs> because I've got a lot of stuff to get on with today. Um, so I now need to decide what I'm going to talk about this time. Um, I kind of want to talk about writing stuff again, um, but I'm like, I'm not sure what I want to talk about writing wise. Um, so the two projects that I'm currently writing are taking along quite nicely, or the editing that I'm doing is taking along quite nicely. Um, as I mentioned last time, I'm still waiting on a cover for No Doors Allowed. Um, so yeah, everything is sort of, everything is sort of just like, at the moment it's not much not much movement in terms of uh, getting work out there, uh, it's more a case of all the background stuff, so all of the, the side of things that I usually have to focus on and do and edit and whatever else. Um, so yeah, I'm really not sure where I want to go with this, <laughs> in case you can't tell. Um, I really don't know what I want to talk about this time. It's definitely, definitely one of those weeks, I think, where I'm, I'm sort of thrown off again. I'm tired again. Um, I'm thrown off because the clocks for the UK went forward on Sunday. Um, so I lost an hour. Um, and you, like, in previous years, this hasn't affected me too much, but when the clocks went back in October, I think they went back at the end of October, um, I ended up with jet lag for at least two weeks. <laughs> I've never had that before. Um, I'm not quite sure why I had it this time, but for about, for about two weeks at least, I was very jet lagged. Um, and I'm very thrown off by the clocks going forward again this time. Um, I'd actually felt fairly rested. I mean, my week off felt like it went too quickly because week, weeks off always feel like they go too quickly. Um, but I got to about, I, I, I got to about Friday and I was sort of like, yeah, I wish the week was a little bit longer, but I'm feeling quite well rested. Um, I, you know, I don't really really want to go back to work because nobody really really wants to go back to work but I'm you know I'm I'm at that point where I'm starting to feel a little bit bored and you know if I go back to work you know it's not going to worry me too much I'm um, you know part of the reason I was feeling a bit bored because you know we're still <laughs> we're still in a lockdown situation so there's only so much I could do with my week off um to kind of break things up a little bit so and uh as I said I'd reached Friday and I was like uh, yeah, no, 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 you know, I, I could go back to work quite happily at this point, so. Um, and then I did my movie night with my friends Saturday evening, um, which usually involves going to bed a little bit later, but I'm like, well, I'm not working this Sunday, so. And I know the clocks are going forward, so if I, if I sleep in a little bit longer, you know, it, it'll balance itself out, um, because I've got, like, Monday, Tuesday to sort of get myself back into a rhythm. Um, and I've just been thrown off since then and, and I've just been like very very tired since then so yeah 
<laughs> this is this is a problem when you have insomnia, and I do have chronic insomnia apparently because you know they won't investigate my sleep to figure out if it's actually anything else. Um, yeah, I, I and I have and I've tried like you know when I sort of uh, so last year like right before we went into lockdown. Um, I did actually sort of, because I, I was um, getting a lot of yawning fits at the time, so uh, I decided, you know, you know what, uh, the, the amount of tired that I am is starting to affect my life. Um, I spent the last, the, the previous year at that point, getting myself into a fairly decent pattern, not like always 100% consistent, but, you know, a fairly decent, you know, sleep pattern, you know, um, going to bed at the same time and waking up at the, the same time and what they refer to as good sleep hygiene. Yeah, I was a master of that um, for about a year. Um, and I was sort of like, you, you know, I really should get my sleep sort of like properly looked into because I'm fairly certain that, you know, considering the fact that I've struggled with sleep since childhood, there is something going on there. Um, but no. They're like, no, it's just insomnia. It's just chronic insomnia. It's all the types of insomnia. The what do you want us to do? <sighs> and it's really frustrating when they do things like that because, like, I'm fairly certain that I never learned to sleep properly. I'm fairly certain that the problem with my sleep is that I never learned to do it properly. So I get an adequate amount of rest. Um, I'm Obviously, I'm getting enough to survive, but I'm not actually sleeping properly because my brain has never learned to sleep properly. There's no way that is ever going to be investigated, so that is very frustrating. Um, but it does mean in a situation like this, where the clocks go forward and back, I mean, I've always sort of felt it a little bit. Um, but like the last couple of it's the worst that I've ever felt it. Um, like, you know, usually it's sort of like, it will linger for about a day and then, you know, I will get back into the rhythm of things and I'll be absolutely fine. Um, but like, in Oct like November, I guess it was, I was very jet lagged um, for like the, <laughs> for like a while. Um, and I'm feeling very tired now and it's been almost a week, so. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but there's, there's there's nothing that can be done because you know I have insomnia and that is all I have apparently. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those things where if I had the money to pay for a private sleep study, I would pay for a private sleep study because I'm fairly confident there is more going on there. But I don't have the money to pay for a private sleep study. I don't have the money for private healthcare in general, even though I think, you know, there are a lot of things that go on with my body which do require further investigation, which won't happen because, uh, which won't happen because, because I have, you know, this, that and the other and they can just point to it as an explanation and it's sort of like, yeah, yeah you're, you're not looking beyond the surface and I know I'm, this is a very complaining sort of blog. I apologise. I'm just very tired and I think that's what's sort of coming through here. I'm tired and I'm just complaining. <laughs> but you get that sometimes, I think, uh, when you're sort of living with a lot of health conditions um, and you don't really get an adequate amount of support for them. Um, it can get very frustrating and it can just wear you down a little bit and yeah being tired is usually one of those things which wears you down a little bit so I, I think I'm just sort of feeling very jaded. <laughs> but I usually do. I've got this very jaded attitude about uh, about uh, everything when it sort of comes to my health a lot of the times because I've you know spent most of the last 15 years fighting the system to get anything recognised. Um, I realise that's how it felt. That's, that's how it's felt. 
uh, like, you know, with, I, I must have been like 18, 19 when I first started going, hey, it's not quite right here. Um, and it's taken, as I said, you know, I'm, I'm in, in my 30s and I still don't think they fully really figured out like X, Y, and Z, so. <laughs> um, but it, it's a case of, yeah, the, they'll go so far and then they're like, eh, and they won't go any further. They won't, like, yeah, it's just frustrating. It's just very frustrating. So I end up living with things with no explanation for my entire adult life. <laughs> um, or since my early childhood. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I apologize. This is a very downer sort of vlog this week. Um, I think that's what sort of happens when you're tired and you don't have anything specific to talk about. So you just end up moaning. <laughs> Um, so on that note, I'm going to stop moaning and get on with all the other stuff that I need to be getting on with today. So um, I hope despite the, mo the moaning, this has been sort of interesting, maybe. Um, hopefully I will figure out something a little bit more exciting to talk about next time. So it'll be a little bit less of a downer um, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!